in this video uh, say something about unpacking Ali goodies. I ordered them approximately two weeks ago or so. Uh, I ordered tuning capacitors here, another tuning capacitor here. Uh, I ordered, uh, say, this uh, form to wind a tube on, sorry, to wind a uh, coil on, that's the right word. So this is a tube, there is ferrite inside, you can tune in uh, to uh, that specific frequency that you can generate with this, say, uh, form. And I have to say, uh, I live in the Netherlands and these components are almost nowhere to be found. Uh, some old stock, perhaps, when you are lucky. Uh, so I ordered that on Ali. That's, in my opinion, the best ID. And when we are talking about ordering via Ali, sometimes it's not very clear, at least in my opinion, uh, what the properties of such a component are. This is, for instance, a tuning capacitor, and here is, say, the data sheet, and they tell, for instance, AM radio dual adjustable capacitor 223 picofarad, 224F, two, two, and 455, and furthermore, nothing. And uh, of course, this is more or less, it's not nonsense, it's true, but in a certain way it does not attach to the product, but anyway, and they tell, for instance, uh, LA capacitor FM radio frequency modulation, one piece, well, one piece, that's all right, but FM radio frequency modulation, uh, by by itself, by the sentence itself, it is uh, okay, but uh, it in fact, it does not have to do so much with the properties of such a tuning capacitor. And here's more info. Uh, this is, by the way, a very good tuning capacitor. And yes, you can use it for an FM radio, but FM only means frequency modulation. And you can also use this capacitor in situations where there is amplitude modulation or SSP, single sideband, um, lower sideband, upper sideband, and many, many other, uh, say, analog uh, radio reception theories. So, that's the first component, but of course I did not uh, order it for nothing. It will help me to make new analog radio circuits and that's one of the aims of my YouTube channel. So the next is this big bunch of tuning capacitors. And also here uh, I could not find a proper description, only bubble plastic, but anyway uh, no uh, criticism on Ali because uh, after the years that I uh, ordered uh, components there, everything was always okay. Oh well, here is the, the data sheet. Uh, well, I cannot publish it, but anyway. Uh, it is a tuning capacitor, and of course I've ordered it by purpose. You can see here the plates. These plates are uh, capacitor plates, of course, and there are a very uh, thin plastic plates between the uh, the other plates. I think aluminum or whatever. Anyway, it, it is a useful capacitor. They are cheap. You can order quite a bunch of them and uh, use them to make, for instance, local oscillators in a in a uh, shortwave radio. You can use them 
as antenna capacitors, etc., etc., I want to refer to all the circuits that I've published in uh, my videos during the past 15 years where such a capacitor can be used. Of course, such a capacitor would say plastic isolation material and between the plates differs from this type of capacitor here. Say the dielectric medium is air and here it is a specific type of plastic and that differs. Also we have the idea that uh, uh, when you turn this, I will try to demonstrate that, perhaps it's interesting. When you turn this here, there is a certain way here, turning this, that the capacitance changes. And when we look to very, very old radio books, the 1920s, etc., etc., uh, specific capacitors were made, uh, they were told to be frequency linear or whatever other, say, specific uh, ID, but anyway, that's also important. And uh, it means, for instance, that you make, when you make a radio coil, an antenna coil, and use this as a tuning capacitor, or use this as a tuning capacitor. It could be that you find the radio stations on another place of the scale. That is completely logical because uh, when we turn the plates here, the way that the capacitance changes also, also changes due to the properties of the tuning capacitor. The same applies when you make a local oscillator with such a capacitor here, this one, or this one. Anyway, all pure practice. So, uh, I also ordered uh, this. Well, I've talked about it. Uh, not so much more to tell about this uh, form. At least when I ordered it, I saw on Ali that they told, or in another way, I had say the ID that there was no ferrite core inside. So I ordered it, and when it finally arrived here, there were there was that ferrite core inside. Very good. So they they tell here empty ferrite. That's what I mean. And these calls empty ferrite, but there is a ferrite core inside, and that is, of course, very ideal in a certain way, because with a ferrite core inside we can get to lower frequencies. Say when you wind here ten windings, and there is no ferrite core inside, you are perhaps on say 8 megahertz but when there is a ferrite core inside you can tune in to say 3 megahertz only ideas of course this all has to be tested out in practice and they tell here the coil is usable uh, between 25 and 100 megahertz well I believe that and it depends, of course, on the amount of windings or turns. So, that, are, that were uh, the first goodies. Um, here's some other goodies. Perhaps they are, in fact, the same. Uh, as I've told earlier, but now we have a winding here. There is a copper winding, lacquered copper wire is here, and it is here etc etc so it means that when I connect this coil to my test oscillator and there is the test oscillator is also on YouTube I will surely find a certain frequency and there is here that ferrite 
inside also very okay uh, so when I want to get to lower frequencies I will say take off all the windings wind here for instance in this case 100 windings of very very thin isolated lacquered copper wire and then I will I'm more or less sure that I'm absolutely on a much lower frequency and what is much lower well my only advice is uh, try test and experiment to get say in a kind of way a certain insight so here again at uh, 10 pieces 26 turns I think 2.1 micro Henry to 6.3 micro Henry etc etc et with a ferrite core but um, what's the frequency that it can give at the first sight I in a certain way don't know I think it will be somewhere in the low shortwave range when you use this uh, as a coil for a local oscillator and like I told uh, practice is everything try and test do your own experiments use um, a test oscillator uh, of course you can bridge such a coil with say one of these capacitors here bridge it so here and then we have a tuned coil we have a tank circuit measure the capacitance between the plates when you turn here uh, that knob uh, parallel to that coil connected to a test oscillator and then you will surely find where this combination works at its best both for a local oscillator <coughs> or as an antenna call thanks for watching finally all the goodies here now again and well that was more or less everything to tell thanks for watching <laughs>